What is going on, my frosty friends? My name is Winter Cassius, and I am going to take a quiz in this video. All right, so I have been wanting to do some quizzes for a while now because of the fact that I do like taking quizzes and everything. I like testing my knowledge, uh, but there was one particular subject I wanted to do some quizzes on, and that is YouTubers. So I've been talking to you guys in so many videos about how much I love YouTube and how much I watch YouTubers uh, in my own free time. Even when, even now that I am like making videos and everything, I still watch a whole bunch of YouTubers and I watch them play games. None of them that have, none of them are, that are playing games that I'm playing or want want to play. Like I haven't been watching Jack Such Guys new Spider Man series, uh, just because of the fact that I want to play the game for myself. Uh, but I really want to just kind of test my knowledge on some of the YouTubers that uh, I watch. Uh, and. I couldn't think of a better person to start with than Crank Gameplays, which is one of my personal favorite channels, and honestly, kind of, one of the two people, well, not actually I don't want to do, one of the three people that inspired me to start my own YouTube channel, uh, just because I just love his personality, I love who he is, and I love his motivation. Uh, plus that, I got his, uh, you guys can't see, but I got his six year anniversary shirt, because he's been doing YouTube for six years, and all profits, uh... For this shirt and uh, any of his other merchandise that are six year, his six year anniversary uh, merchandise go directly to the uh, American Tumor, uh, the American Tumor Research uh, Foundation. It's the same people who, if I remember correctly, it's either the same people or someone similar to the Cancer Research Center, the Cancer Research Center, uh, community center. I can't talk at all, but it's basically. It's a tumor research charity, which I think is really cool. Uh, I had no, I couldn't resist getting it myself, and so we're gonna go ahead and take a quiz because I want to see how well I know this. Uh, there's quite a few. I'm gonna try to pick some of the newer ones if I can. Let's see, April 19, 2017. Ooh, Jesus. How old do you know? Crank Gameplays from five months ago. Okay, this one I could probably do. It's by I I O M Q Nico. Sounds like an awesome name. All right, okay. So, how well do you know Crank Gameplays? First question, what is Ethan's full name? It's Ethan Nestor, Ethan T. Nestor, Ethan Mark Nestor, or Ethan Will Nestor? It's Ethan Mark Nestor. If I remember correctly, his middle name was named after his father. How old is he? Oh, good lord. Um, 21. He actually celebrated his 21st birthday, and it was actually featured in... Uh, the new, it was in Mar one of Mark's videos, Markiplier's videos. When is his birthday? He was born one week before Halloween, so he was born October 24th, 1996. He is actually, uh, a year younger than me. Uh, well, actually, a year and some months younger than me. Year and four months? Because my birthday's in July, so August, of, okay, I'm a year and three months younger than me. Uh, which Markiplier video was he first in? Oh, gosh, um... I know he was in, no, he wasn't in Don't Try I Don't Laugh Challenge. It wasn't in the 7 Second Challenge. It was a Disco Discomfort, if I remember correctly. Because he did the Whisper Challenge with, uh, Ethan did the Whisper Challenge with Gerbigli and OG Chan. Which, uh, actually, Gerbigli is the other person, another person that it helped, it inspired me to start my own channel. He's freaking awesome. I'm probably going to do a quiz on him, too. What is he allergic to? Peanuts! He could die from one three hundredth of a peanut. This, this is, should be just renamed. This should honestly video should just be named how I stalk my favorite YouTubers. <laughs> I can't help it. Like this the little information is what my brain remembers. When, when was Ethan formally introduced in Markiplier's video? Oh gosh. Um, oh, bullocks. Um, he was not in a don't laugh challenge. He Again, the Whisper Challenge. I think the only Whisper Challenge he was in was with uh, OG Chan and Kurt Beagley. So, ah, oh, crap. I might get. I might have got those two confused. I think it's the Seven Second Challenge, but I think he was like first in there, but he wasn't introduced until Disco Discomfort. We're gonna go Seven Second Challenge, even though I think I might be wrong. Uh, when did he get the name? Well, how did he get the name Crank Gameplays? He just made it up. He liked cranking stuff as a child, so he decided to name his channel Crank Gameplays. He was thinking of YouTube names, and he had a poster in his room that's saying Crank. His friend had abandoned a channel called Crankbox, and he had the idea for a Crank Gameplays. No. Uh, we'll crank that one out. Uh, he liked cranking stuff as a child. I don't think that's it. it could be he just made it up. But I, uh, I think he just made it up. I don't think there was any particular reason why he called it Crank Gameplays. I think he just called it that. 
Uh, if I remember correctly, I can't remember. There might have been a vlog that I'm not remembering that he probably did. When did he first? Uh, when did he first start his his first ever channel? Oh God, yeah, that's one thing about Crane Gameplays. If you guys haven't watched Crane Gameplays, which I highly recommend you do because he's freaking hilarious. Uh, but he uh, he's had two channels. Uh, his first channel when he started with his friend. Uh, and it fell apart when he reached 25,000 subscribers, but only like a couple hundred active subscribers. And a lot of them subscribed for videos of, like that involved his grandmother. And yeah, no, it didn't. I, I'm a nerd. Let's just say that I'm a YouTube nerd. I love watch. I love YouTube and YouTubers. And I get a little obsessive, not like an obsessive to the point like, Oh, I know exactly where you live and stuff. No, I'm just obsessive. Like I, I remember knowledge about them. His first video was August 29th, 2012, because that was his, uh, it was the first video he made with his friend. Uh, which color, what color, which color did he first dye his hair? Blue, because he dyed it for charity. How did Ethan meet Mark? Uh, it was, it was, uh, they were friends since childhood? Nope. Ethan met Mark at PAX East and did a backflip for him. He was walking all around LA and saw Mark. Nope. None of the above. Incorrect. The answer is Ethan met Mark at PAX East and did a backflip for him, and he became known as Backflip Kid. Wowee! Uh, how well do you know Ethan from Cranking Place? Uh, wow, you know Ethan very well. Woo! Awesome. I like him when I know people very well. All right. Well, I got some time. I'm gonna go ahead and do another quiz on Crank Game Place just because I want to see if there are any questions that change. All right. So why don't we go ahead and try this out? Okay. First things first. What is Crank Game Place real name? That would be Ethan Mark Nestor. Uh, let's see. That shouldn't have been too hard. Now here's a harder one. Ethan is 21 right now. What day is his birthday? That would be October 24th, one week from Halloween. He comments on that a lot. Uh, good. Hope you passed math class. What year was he born? Oh, gosh. 1996. He was a, he's a year younger than me. All right. Where did he work before he began YouTube? He was in a restaurant. He was a manager or he was a server and then a manager and then he stepped down to be a server again. And now it's YouTube's his full-time job and I'm happy for him. What was his childhood's dog's name? Oh, gosh. It was Dexter. Not Fido. He had a dog. <laughs> he, had, he, had a, he had a... He got a little doggo. Yeah, no, it's Dexter. Uh, he has an older brother. What's his name? Oh, balls. Um, It's not Tyler. Was it Andrew? Oh, this was from his... When he did the Christmas song. Oh, fucking hell. I, I honestly love Ethan's singing voice. Ah, oh, balls. Um... I want to say it's Andrew, but I think I'm wrong. He, I thought he had a sister. No, Ethan doesn't have a sister. At least not to my knowledge. Uh, I want to say it's Andrew, but I might be wrong because Andrew might be his best friend's name. I'm going to go Andrew. I'm going to trust. I trust my instincts. Where was he born? He was born in Maine. Well, he actually was. He was born all the way high up in Maine. And he, now he lives in Los Angeles. Okay, okay, smarty pants. What city in Maine? Oh, balls. Um, I don't, it's not Portland, because that's Portland, Oregon. Cape Elizabeth, Waterville, Bangor. Ah, oh, crap. Um, this is the stuff that, like, I didn't want to look into this, because that would make me a creeper. Uh, no offense to anybody who does get this right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust myself. Gotta trust myself. I know it's not Portland. Was it Portland, Maine? No, I don't think it was born in the main. Um, I'm going to trust myself. It's Portland. When did he first start his channel? Uh, he started his channel on August 29th, 2012. That was the start of his first channel. Uh, the start of his second channel it was November 1st, 2016, if I remember. But So it was August 29th. From what high school did he graduate? Oh, crap. Um... This was in his Google himself video. Crap, I cannot remember. Um, um, uh, 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 Cape Elizabeth uh, High School? 9%. Ah, balls. Will it tell me which one I got wrong? I got, I got, I got 90%, right? You answered 9 percent correctly. I want to know which one I got wrong. Oh, okay, so what I got wrong was that he was born in Cape Elizabeth, not in Portland. 
That's where I went wrong. Okay, I'm going to end this video here and kind of end the creepiness here because I'm taking a quiz on YouTubers. Uh, I, I couldn't help it though. I do love YouTube a lot and I love YouTube creators and people who make videos and it's not just gaming creators. I love regular, I love like vlog channels and I love like knowledge channels like Vsauce and probably one of my per one of my top 10 favorite YouTubers is Vsauce 3 which is Jake. Uh, Absolutely amazing dude, really funny, really knowledgeable, and Matthew Centaro. Oh, Matthew Centaro. He was the first YouTuber I actually ever subscribed to, and I love his channel so much. I still follow it to this day. His um, 50 Amazing Facts to Blow Your Mind se uh, segments are really, really awesome, uh, but Crank Gameplays was one of the first channels that inspired me to like try out making my own channel, just because of the fact that I love the way he like, kind of carried himself. I've always been a little self-conscious about some of the way I look. Uh, not in the way of my face or or even, like, any of that stuff. That stuff doesn't bother me. I like the way my body is shaped. I'm not big. I'm actually the exact weight I'm supposed to be for my height. Uh, but I always had a problem with, like, I have some crooked teeth right down here. And, you know, I always did have a little bit of problem with, like, acne and stuff. And uh, I, I always had that. I was kind of insecure about that for many years. Um... Uh, but when I turned 20, and when I turned 20, and I was kind of having some issues, uh, 2021, and I was kind of having some issues with my life, watching people like Ethan gave me a lot of confidence. And then when I turned 22, I just decided I, you know, I got obsessed with YouTube, and I'm still obsessed. But seeing how he carried himself, even with all the crap he's gotten, uh, you know, for some of the way he looks, it. Like, and not to mention just his overall confidence, his per his positivity, and it's just, like, that stuff really, it really gets me going for, like, liking content creators, and seeing that really kind of inspires me. Uh, him, I I'd say the three people that inspired me to start my own channel were Crank Ethan from Crank Gameplays, uh, Brian from Gerbeakly, and uh, Patrick from Pat from Patrick Static. Uh, the, all three are absolutely amazing dudes, and honestly, I hope I get, I hope I get the opportunity to meet them one day. That would be really cool, but I sincerely doubt they'll watch any of my videos or anything like that. Uh, but at the same time, you never know. So, I mean, Ethan, if you ever do watch this, hey man, I'm a huge fan of your channel. I really hope I can talk to you sometime. That would be freaking sick. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know this is kind of weird to see me take quizzes on other people's channels, but I really just wanted to do it. Uh, if you guys did like it, make sure you press down on that like button, like there's no tomorrow, and hopefully, guys, I'll get to see every single one of you in the next video. So make sure you take care, and you stay frosty.